words can't express what that felt like. Um, that was one of the hardest fought games. Um, you know, give them a lot of credit, man. They they uh, they battled. Uh, they had a football team, got great talent. Um, and man, I just I'm so proud of our team. So proud of our coaches. How hard they work, prepared, we had a great plan coming in. Um, you know, we talked about this in the locker room growing up as a little boy, you know, playing football out in the pasture and, and we reflect on everybody's kind of path here and come to the Coliseum and to win like that on the last play. Boy, I don't know if it gets any better than that. That was absolutely awesome. For all those young kids out there, everybody tells you you ought to transfer. Tells you ought to quit because you're not getting to play. Go somewhere else. Well, Look at Mike Berkovich. Don't ever quit. And he chose to be a Sun Devil. He would have missed out on the greatest moment in his football life if he had transferred. And everybody would have said, oh, that's the thing he should do. And I'm so proud of him. Uh, proud of Taylor Kelly. The way he worked tonight was phenomenal. You know, my heart breaks that uh, he didn't get to play in this game. Uh, those young freshmen, wow. <clears throat> I mean, they're having to grow up in a hurry. And um, it is pretty hard on them. And man, I mean, that was, uh, that, was, that was the most unbelievable night I've had in coaching. I mean, to, um, when he caught that ball, my heart stopped or missed a beat or something. I didn't, I was just like, you know. But you know what? Mike was on that launch pad every time we were doing onside kick. Every coach, every player, there never was any give up in him or no quit in him. And that's why you never give up. And you believe in each other. And I believe the good Lord's working for us tonight. And um, you know, uh, these kids have faith. They've got character. They love each other. Man, that's that's what this game's all about, man. You can you can be where you were last week and then be here next week. That's what I love about it, man. So blessed, great to be a Sunday. I was so proud of our team, proud of all the individual. I talked about anybody individually would be just I mean, just from a team standpoint. That's the best one we've had since we've been here. To overcome what we overcome. You know, Lyle went out. Uh, you've got, got Christian in there, true freshman, and a complicated game plan. And, uh, you know, just, just couldn't be more proud of our guys. That was the most incredible moment that I think I've had in coaching, that, that play. Doug, so how often do you practice that type of Hill Mary play, and how often is it successful? Going into Jalen Strong, you got a good chance. I don't know. I'll tell you this. Researching a lot of that, I think I've seen a, there's been an enormous success on those this year. And we practice it every Thursday. Uh, we got a great offense coordinator who does a great job. I mean, uh, I'll tell you, you know, to, to, to correct everything that we did wrong last week, uh, I believe we played a better defense this week. And uh, to be 100% ball security. Correct those mistakes. That, that was big. But uh, yeah, we practiced those things. We practiced those onside kicks. I thought we should have got the first onside kick. Man, a perfect kick. Um, you know, but we give up a punt return for a touchdown in the first quarter that puts us behind. That would have wound up being the difference, you know, if we don't hit the, 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 the pass at the end. But uh, at the end of the day, man, uh, you know, uh, you, you got to have great players make great plays. And Mike Berkovici, that line blocked. Mike executed the dash to, you know, dash protection to a, to a precisely exactly how you do it. He put the right air under the ball, and Big Jalen and Dan Strong went and got it. And uh, that's how it's done. So just so proud of our guys. Proud to be a Sunday. I'm proud of those fans. I'm proud of all the fans. I know know that it was disappointing last week, but uh, I'm proud of the ones that showed up here and uh, did a great job. Great job, Mike. Uh, just so so proud proud of our team and uh, proud of this guy right here uh, that was uh, that was pretty special and, I, and I, I'll tell you that Mike's pretty glad he stayed huh yes sir there you go what was the question Tyler Todd before that final play as a head coach what do you think you've got nine seconds left with one shot in the midfield we're just talking Mike and I are talking you know last play last play last play we, obviously, we, we knew we had to get a ball to put it close we do that Great, great execution down the field. Mike makes a great throw. We kill the clock. Got seven seconds. 
you don't have time to think. You're just you're going off the script and you're and you're going sticking to the plan. And like I said, you know, great players make great plays, and that's what happened. And uh, but I'll tell you this, you know, uh, the effort. It wasn't just that one play. It was the entire game. It was the effort offensively, defensively, in the kicking game. Uh, just, I mean, phenomenal effort. Uh, guys that were playing the next play, uh, just believing in each other. We talked about that personal will. Each person's, each person make a personal commitment that, that man, from the, from the cores of your heart, you're going to play your best tonight. In, in every single play, that's what we committed to as a team. We actually closed our eyes in a meeting last night, every person, and we visualized this happening. And uh, that tells you it's great power, that what you're willing to believe in your heart, uh, what you're able to visualize in your mind, and then you see it happen on the field. So um, it was awesome. I just can't tell you. That was, uh, that was one of the greatest feelings I've ever had right there. Hey, Coach, you, you spoke very well of your team the whole season. Does this take you guys to a different place emotionally, or what does it do? It's not, no, it's not like that. I mean, it's uh, our guys are trained. We, you know, they uh, we have kids that have a value system, so it's not it's not up and down. We have got some youth. Got, I'm I'm hard headed as a coach. I don't want to, I want to do what I I want to run my stuff, and so it's hard. And you got a lot of young kids that are having to grow up fast. Four, five, six true freshmen on defense. And so, uh, you know, uh, we just aren't that up and down emotionally. You know, I think that uh, there's a there's a core love on this team with these kids. They care about each other, man. They love each other. They they, they, they there's uh, I, I deal with no minimum expectation stuff. And this is the first year I've been coaching that it's been like that. It's, that's 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 pretty amazing. And uh, so. Uh, the credit goes to them, but these guys have been trained, and and um, man, they uh, it, that's why team's important. That's why team's important, man. A great team won tonight. And, you know, you can find, you can dissect it and find the strengths and weaknesses and where we're strong and where we're young and all that, but it don't matter. And you know, they got it done tonight, and that puts us right back in the where we want to be in the Pac-12 <coughs> South race. And uh, to win here, you know, this guy right here on my left. I cannot. I, I, you know, I said, said earlier before we got in here. I said, could you imagine if he had left? <laughs> Every kid out there ought to learn from this. <laughs> Every person. He'd missed out on the greatest. I, 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 I don't want to speak for him. That might be the greatest play in his football life. It don't get better than that now. That was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, and just to see, I wish you could have been on the field and see him over on the lunch pad, see how our guys are interacting, see how that, I mean, there was no, there was no give up. And, uh, you know, they score a touchdown, it looks like they put the nail in the coffin, boom, we score and here we go, another onside kick. We don't get it, move right down and score. And, uh, you know, I told these kids that we talked a lot about, I said in life, the greatest thing I've ever shared with you is that, is that there's something inside a person and the good Lord puts a spirit of integrity in your heart. When you dig down deep or something. I told him on the field during the timeout. I said, I know it's hard. I know you can barely, barely stand up. Anything in life worth having. It's hard, man. Man, the night was hard and made it so incredible. So I'm proud of these kids, proud of our coaches. I'll let these guys go. We get any more for coach? No? Okay. All right, let, let you go. I'm ready. I'm going to do a cartwheel. Let the kids stay. <clears throat> Pretty fired up. Pretty good. Pretty good deal, huh? Get your shit in, Dr. Pepper. Good, I'm good. I think that's it. Tim. All right, boys. Kevin right there. <laughs> Easy. 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 Well, that's right. We're going down. Mike, Mike, we did it. Kevin, Kevin, we're Last play, like we wanted to do. <laughs> First off, credit to Tyler Solka, Stan Carmen on my right side, D. Telefo, Nick Kelly, Christian Westerman, and big man Jamel Douglas. We're set and firm. They brought three. We need to practice that play every Thursday. Every Thursday we practice that situational football. Coach Norvell puts the same amount of stress on a Thursday practice like it is on that field. And it was a little bit of a prayer, I'll be honest. I didn't think I got it that far. 
looked like a little bit of a duck, but you know what? I felt I just needed to give ourselves a chance, and who else but the man, Jalen Strong, to come up. How often did you complete that? You know, to be honest, sometimes they save our arms. Sometimes we just kind of air toss it. But I think we're pretty good at completing it. Um, but like I said, there's, there's, I don't know the percentage, percentages, but it's not too high of completing that pass. <laughs> Like ASU has won here since 1999. To come back here as an LA kid and, and leave these guys to a win in that kind of fashion, how much does that mean to you? I mean, for this football team, this is a win. This is another step close to the Rose Bowl. Uh, like, like I always say, we go one and zero every single week. But by gosh, I, I know that I have about. If I needed, I needed to get like 150 tickets if I could, but I obviously <laughs> couldn't do that. I have friends in the USC student section telling me that they're they're cheering for me. But wow, I mean. It's amazing. I'm just, I just can't wait to see my mom, dad, sister, girlfriend. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Have you ever been a part of anything like that or similar? No, I've never, I've never been able to throw a Hail Mary before. And I like to think I, I, would, I would be good at it. To be honest with you, I didn't think I threw it that well. I'll look at the replay and it looked like a little bit of a duck. But my, my God, that was, that was I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know what happened, to be honest with you. Can you just kind of take us through your emotions after you threw the ball, when it was in the air, and then after the catch? Well, I think I got to do a better job of hydrating because my body started cramping, and I just immediately fell to the floor. I saw Jalen take take a step in the end zone, and I, I don't think I could have made it down 50 yards to the end zone, and it was an un undescribable feeling. I got people telling me, get up, get up, get up, but all I wanted to do was run upstairs to my mom and give her a big hug. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're they're such an outstanding defense. I know a lot of the guys on this side of the ball. They're so athletic. They're so talented. So you got to be so careful about where you put the ball, placement, and if, even if you want to give us a chance because they're they're so darn good in the secondary and up front. Basically, they just they wanted to take a different approach and playing a little bit more of a prevent defense. And all I knew is that all, I, all we needed was completions. If I had to throw the ball out of bounds, that's what we needed to do. And I learned a lot from last week about situational football. So I was very calm and relaxed. I don't know, maybe my body language going into the kickoff unit wasn't very calm and relaxed. But when I got out there, it was very relaxing. Like I said, sometimes I feel like I'm playing at home. We should have played here in 2011 against Crenshaw, but we lost in semi -final. No, no, it's, it, there's three levels of guys, or three burners. I mean, DJ's low, Jalen's middle, and, and Cameron Smith is the deep guy. But the most important part of that play is Tyler Solka basically stunning that, that, that edge rusher. I mean, those, those edge rushers know that we're not running football there, so they're going to come nice and heavy. He did such a great job just giving me that extra second to slide right and let it rip, and it, 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 it didn't drop. <laughs> Jalen, you take us through that last play. Do this. This one I'm here. <laughs> it's just a play that um, it's just a play that we work on. You know, every week, you know, Coach Novell and all the coaches talk about Coach Brand. We talk about you know, we never know what this game will come down to. Um, it's a game of inches. You know, um, that's you know that's the things we work for. You know, all all off season for Coach Bridge. Just the last play, you know, if, if, if DJ doesn't make that touchdown, we don't have a chance. If Cam doesn't make that touchdown, we don't have a chance. If Gary doesn't make that big play and set us up for the Hail Mary, we don't have a chance. You know? If the defense gives up, we don't have a chance. So it's a team effort. Um, you know, I just did what I was coached to do. Um, I just did my job. And that's, you know, Coach Alexander talks about attacking the ball. I and mean, then I saw the ball in there. First thing I thought was, I'm going to get this. And I just went up and made a play. Yeah, how about that pass from Mike? It seemed like it was exactly where I needed to be for you to get to it. Um, Burke let it go. <laughs> he said that, but you let it go. Um, at first I thought, I'm like, man, I don't know if I can get to it. But I just put my head down and kept running. I went up and grabbed it, and I landed in the end zone. So I, just, I don't even remember it, honestly. I blacked out. <laughs> Jordan. 